Yep, accidentally tap the uh, stop button then. Okay, so margin five pixels, background equals um, turquoise, tomato all, color equals white, font size equals um, seven rooms, text align equals center, uh, line height equals then let's say 56 pixels oops um, color no there, yeah color equals white no it looks good so far so tweak button let's say here this is then a tweet oops And tweet, tweet, tweet. Yeah, that's good stuff. But the button's a bit too small, you know, because this one is a lot bigger than that. So we need to change our change our sizes a little bit. And that was then handled here. Um, so let's play around with this using developer tools. Uh, okay, so this one's going to be well. This one's this one's the one's got to lose a little bit of weight. So we'll take six off of that. We'll give this six. Okay, so now it got fifty percent. It's still actually too. No, it's too too small. So we'll give it forty five percent, and we'll give this one then thirty percent. It's looking better. Yeah, maybe it needs to s steal a little bit more. And also forty percent. 5%. That's better now. A lot better. Okay, so column 3 is then 35%. And column 1 is then 40%. Let's refresh our page. It looks better. Tweet button. Um, in this scenario, we're going to do the buttons, navigator, background color, button text, background color. I wonder whether you can change the color, blend mode, size. I'm not quite sure of that. I'm not really one for anyway. Let's do a three 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 for this uh, tweet button. So background is going to be this with white. All right. And now, oh, we didn't have a margin of bottom, but we did have. Why are you? Doing that now. Computed, so 56. Ah, wait a minute. We put. Okay, so that the height of it. Wait a minute. Let's get the line height first. Okay, and that's what we got now. So let's do. Height equals, and what was it? 
it was a div class. Hmm, that's not not very clear. Why? Okay, that's not taking up the full height, which is okay. So, uh, we'll. I want it to take up the whole whole size of it, but I want it to have a margin. What's the What's the nicest way I can do this? I know how to do this, but I'm just trying to think of the nicest way to do it. Um, you could essentially, what I want is that the button pins its left, top, right, and bottom to, to its, its parent container. And it has a little bit of margin as well. And I don't have to care about the size of the button. Now, I could say that it's position absolute, which I don't really want to do. And then I say that the profile navbar right one is then position relative. Oops position relative and then I can say here top five right five bottom <clears throat> bottom five left five and then that looks better you see now if we say vertical align center middle what does that do? Let's remove that. No, okay. I don't think that would do anything. Um, so now I want to have text alignment. Why well, don't think text orientation, size, transform. If I remember rightly, we would have to do this with. And I have to do this with um, vertical alignment. Oh, look at that, that's clever, huh? No, or did I just not save it? No, okay. Good. So let's resave this. And now we want then the, the text to be sat in the middle which for some reason I'm not able to think of how to do that right now, apart from um, span, paragraph, does that sit centrally? Yeah, with a yeah. Anyway, so we'll then say line heights. What size we got here for this box? I think like 40, so I'll say line height 38. Yeah, that's good. Okay, now we need rounded corners, so border radius. Uh, when we got 40, what was this? It was like, well, it's completely rounded, so we want 20 pixels. Then we got our button now. Oh, let me go back again. That's like maybe a touch of shadow. So border shadow, oh, shadow, box shadow, box shadow, is it? Yes. Now, does this give me any instructions for what it is? Uh, I think it's like two pixels, two pixels. Color. I wanted. Can't remember quite exactly what. This is one minus one. That one was going up and down. And then we want that one going down. And actually, you want it going this way. Yep. But we're going to have like seven point six. That do anything? Yeah. And is there another number there? Five pixels, maybe? Yeah, that was it. That's what I wanted. Yeah. 
I don't know what the last one was, but we're going to say E1, E1, E1. And make this 20. I think that's like, yes, exactly what I wanted. Um, but we want to have like FFF23. And let's reduce this down to like D maybe. Oops, no, we want FD, FD. FD, FD. Mm -hmm. Way too much there. Three. Mm. We'll have a look at those instructions in a minute. And let's get with this green background. better right now we want to have like a kind of hover because here's probably there's no hover there but now we want, we want to have tweet button hover Oops. here's cursor enter and we get rid of this Oh, look. Okay, now we have no still. And there it is now. Okay, so let's let's give it a little bit of background. Well, a lighter one would be then four four four. So just slightly lighter. It's good. Okay. So now just the icon should be relatively simple. Let's get rid of this. Um, let's just play display. I don't know. We'll just leave that how it is. Um, and we'll say div class. User icon. And we're just going to round this off for the time being. <sighs> Oops. Okay, so height equals 40, width equals 40, margin equals 10, background color equals red. Border radius equals 20. Bosh, there it is. Yes. Okay, now the search bar. So let's come here again and div class search box wrapper. Let's copy this. And do this all again. And we'll just essentially copy this. And width equals auto. Yeah. Let's see what that one does. Boom, there it is. But I think that it needs to be a bit wider, huh? Let me have a look here. Okay, it definitely needs to be a bit, a little bit bigger. Which box was that in? Profile, navbar, section, column three. 26, it's 44, so let's take that to 26, and this one's 44, hmm. 
Hmm, that's a bit better. Maybe a bit too big. Okay, the search bar's correct there with 45. But we don't need that much room there. So let's leave. This one has 20%. Well, it doesn't need 20%. If anything, we can start. We could hard code these these widths, you know. Right, uh, profile nav bar. Yeah. Okay, the right bar, right profile nav bar column here. Column three. Well, that's one hundred and eighty nine at the moment. So if we make it. 160 pixels in width, that's fine. And the other one was 40 pixels, so let's make this 60 pixels in width. And then this one, well, here it's kind of taken up, what has it got? 200, that seems to be pretty cool. So we'll say this one's 200 pixels, and right is 10 pixels. Margin right is 10 pixels. So what have we got? We've got 160, 170, 230, 240, 440. So the right bar column, so nav bar column three, Four forty. Okay, it's going to. Um, and here we're going to need to. <coughs> okay, we need to then say Z index here. I think so. Maybe not. Okay, this one's going to be position. Absolute. Right. Yes. Oh no, I got the wrong ones. Okay. That's wrong. So position absolute. Right equals is not here. Okay, which is good, but the nav bar itself, because that's nav bar inner, needs to then be position relative, so it sits properly like that, which is fine. So this has it now got the correct size, 60 is what I said, this one's alright, this one's all right as well. Yeah, it's looking good. Okay, so now this one still has 50 and it will still sit in the middle. So we're kind of happy still. Now now we've now we've got what we what we wanted. Um, yeah, I'm happy with that. Okay, what about next? So this Twitter search has got the search button in it and then the search thing here. So we need to separate that into two as well. So, search container, we'll call this, and then we'll call it search icon, search button. Um, and because we hard coded the widths here, then we know that we can hard code this as well, all right? So let's come to, so we've got search container. Um, 
means width equals 160 pixels. Float left. And search button. You guessed it. 30. No, <laughs> just kidding. Background color. Let me go for the purple again. And here, go for yellow. What have we got? What have we got? Nothing. So look, why did nothing show up? Because can move the height. Okay, we go, but so one is one sixty that computed to two hundred forty. Mm -hmm. Now, search button, float right, float left. What's the matter with you? Okay, so let's have a think about this now. That has got, oh look, search 180, that was 200. That was 200. Okay, so we only got 180. Well, what was in that? What was, what was then 160? What was that? That was 160. So we got 180 for this. Yep. Mm, doesn't make sense. Search box wrapper had search box. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. So it's one forty. That's forty. There we go. So now this has a text input in it. Just search for people. You're not interested in what they've written. Just go back to what every day probably says. Oh yeah, okay. Okay, so now we've we've done that. Let's give the, a little bit of um, some form of design. Uh, I'm getting lost here with which boxes we're doing here. Let's get rid of this yellow and purple background. So I thought I gave it, I did, yeah. So let's get rid of this right bar nav search box wrapper. It's supposed to be in here. Okay, background equals red, which that's the kind of like I think that's like an FFFFF color. Yeah, that's it's like one of them. It's definitely that there. Even lighter. Even lighter than that. How do you start this thing? Come on, give me that colour again. Oh, we can change this as well. Here we go. Even with alpha. Yeah, that's definitely it. So let's say border one pixel solid. 
Um, A1, A1, A1. Or A1, A1, A1. My favourite colours. Dot. Okay, yep, that's looking good now. So let's plop a. Um, okay, so now you've now we've got that looking okay. The hover's not very nice. Uh, I need a break, so I'm going to take a five-minute break, and then uh, we'll keep going. See you in the next video.